Relatives, friends and other members of the community all gathered here at the family home this morning to offer funeral prayers for the well-loved headmistress. Tyra Kazi had dedicated much of her working life to the school, a passionate believer in the importance of educating both boys and girls. But amidst the grieving, there is also anger. Her family say it was known the army public school was under threat from the Taliban. All the army publics have been receiving uh, threats, in, including her school. So she has been receiving, and it's been since since long. It's been almost a couple of years that every on and off she would tell us that she's received it. She's received a threat. And did she pass that information on to the authorities here? It, all information that she get, uh, she gets is already has already passed a certain authorities because since it's an army institution so automatically it goes through a process so she had told the authorities that there were these threats the authorities knew about it there was a major security alert here at the school just last year according to officials with teachers demanding the walls be fortified but on tuesday it seems the taliban militants got inside easily shooting dead a hundred children in this auditorium in just 15 minutes the gunman then moved here to the administration building where the headmistress had her office according to the army she was killed by a grenade after locking herself in the toilet but the family strongly disputes this saying when they saw her body it was clear she'd been shot dead and she'd been trying to save her pupils she tried staying back although she was given an option to run or to evacuate the place or to go out of this institute but she did not uh, take that so she chose to stay she chose to stay until the very last child is not out of the institute she was incredibly brave and i didn't know that my mother was such a great lady tyra kazi has now been laid to rest here at her ancestral village her family believe that if the army had provided better protection for the school, she and more than 130 children might still be alive today. Richard Galpin, BBC News, Peshawar.